expressions. What's the deal? What's what's that about? This video is going to give you a very basic intro to what the heck expressions are and how to use them to do cool stuff in Fusion. Okay, so here I have a cartoon character and let's say I want to do something like adjust his eyelids to move up and down, but I wanna do that by not grabbing the mask, but by using something like a slider or you know having this be controlled by something else. That's what expressions are really used for is helping one node kind of control another node and kind of helping you save time, especially if it's something like you're making a template or you're making something that you're gonna reuse a lot, or if you're just making something where you want one control to adjust multiple things, that's what expressions are for. It's a way to link any of these properties over here in the inspector to anything else. It's a little bit of, you know, crazy coding kind of brain but we're gonna start really, really simple, okay? So let's just link one thing to another. This dot in the middle of his eye moves back and forth because of a point called center in our inspector. If we change the control for center, that moves this mask back and forth, okay? What we can do is link this to anything else to kind of drive these numbers right here, okay? For instance, let's say I have just another mask here. I can kind of make a little controller for my eye I put out here. Maybe we'll just call this controller, right? And I can link this center to the dot mask center. How do we do that? Well, one thing I'll do is select whatever node I want to kind of use the controls from, so this controller node, and I'll go up here to the upper right part of the inspector and click on this little stick pin. That's going to pin this to the inspector, so if I grab another node, it's gonna keep the controls for controller here in the inspector so that I can do some fancy stuff. So let's select dot mask. And so now we have the controls for dot mask and our controller in the inspector. Now it's time to add the expression. If I right click on center here and go down to expression, that's going to switch this from using these numbers here to just listening to what is written here in this little text box. Now what's written in this text box has to be formatted a certain way. And with a point with an X and a Y, you have to write it as point and then the first number comma the last number. So if I click off of this, that switches the center to 0.5.5 because instead of using these, it's looking down here and it's saying, okay, the point for this center is going to be point parentheses 0.5.5, okay? If I were to change this to 0.51, that's gonna switch that to 0.51, okay? If I were to just put 0.5 comma one here, this isn't going to work. It's just gonna zero that out because it's expecting a point and it doesn't know what you're giving it as a point. You have to tell it what you're giving it as a point. So P-O-I-N-T, parentheses, and inside that you have the X and Y value, okay? This is kind of pretty standard as far as coding goes. In fact, what we're typing here is actually a coding language called Lua. And so 0.5 comma one, that's our center. What's cool about this is that not only can we type stuff here, but we can link this to another property like this center right here by grabbing that plus and just dragging it over it's going to link this property to another property and we can kind of type this in as our node name which is controller dot whatever the property is okay so a dot means that you're accessing a property of a different node so we have a controller dot center and so we click on that and that's going to be wherever the center is for this controller node so as i move this around that dot is going to follow my controller, okay? So what's nice about that is I don't have to go through all of these other nodes here. I can just have my controller node here over to the right and I can click that and drag it around and I don't need to worry about trying to find the exact node I need. I just use this controller node, right? The other thing that's cool is I can go back to my dot mask here where I have my expression. So I can also do math here. So I could say, you know, divided by two. And what that's going to do, if I move this controller around, is it's going to kind of offset this and it's actually gonna move slower than my controller is. And so you can kind of modify these things with math. And there'd be various reasons why you'd want to do that, but you can do math inside of these expressions. You could also do stuff like add points. So I could say like controller.center plus point, point five comma point five like this and click off of there. And then I could reset the center to zero, zero and that position will be offset, right? So we could even do something like control center divided by 10 plus that point. And now we get this controller where we can move this in really big movements and it only does a little bit of movement for our character, which depending on what we wanna do, might be really good. So you can do math inside of this expression. 
So let's just go ahead and remove this expression for now. We'll put this back where it is. And we've been linking like a point to another point, but we can also link things that are kind of different types as long as we kind of make a little conversion, right? So for instance, I could have this blink every time he looks left. So what we could do is we could reset our center for our dot mask and then go over to our lids mask and let's link this height to an expression and we'll grab this dot mask and pin it so that we have the dot mask and the lids mask here. And what this is wanting is just a number. So what we can do is take maybe this X value. So I'll just grab this and put it onto center, but we don't want the whole center because that'd be a point. Let's just say center dot capital X, click off of that. And now as we move this dot back and forth, it adjusts the height of our mask, right? And we can kind of offset this with some math. So I'll maybe put this in the middle. So 0.457 is where we want this to be kind of more open. Let's just divide this by two, see if that helps. Maybe divide it by four, there we go. And so now when we take this dot and we move it back and forth, it changes his eye as well. So that's a pretty simple way to just link two properties in Fusion with an expression. And of course the sky's the limit. I mean, you could could link 50 different things together and make some really complicated you know graphics that unfold and reveal and everything you can make a whole cartoon character I mean possibilities are endless you could even do something like connect this controller to our lids mask and maybe we'll do this for the center but this time it'll be center dot y and now if I grab this controller and move this up and down that's kind of a handle that I can push around to make him blink and I could just animate this handle and move it up and down to animate his blink. And I could put a whole bunch of other different handles here that I can just grab and move around to make things easier to animate or change. There are tons of possibilities when it comes to expressions in Fusion. If you wanna learn more about that, let me know. We can do a little bit more in-depth videos, but this is a good little intro. And if you wanna learn more about Fusion and expressions and everything, well, why don't you just stick around because we got some good things planned. Hey, thank you for hanging with me. I really appreciate it. I hope that this helps you express yourself. The jokes keep coming.